Right, so we missed last last week. Yeah, last week. Five feels, weeks in a row, week off. Feels like longer, but... Feels like a lot longer, you know, being a pro and doing it for such a long amount of time. Yeah, you, you kind of see a bit of a difference after you've been working so hard on them. <laughs> nice to see that we're suffering from burnout after <laughs> just over a month. <laughs> just over a month of like half an hour podcast. <laughs> really takes its toll on the body. Hence why we're on the souls this, this evening. Yeah, souls, good for the soul, so yeah. they say. At least you dead and you don't have one <laughs> sorry sorry lord he's strawberry dead. blonde strawberry blonde dead and. right you mean sorry Corey horsborough well yeah he would get quite upset he actually cried on the pitch so i would i would apologize to big Corey. he does kind of seem like the type of bloke too who would hear this and just come over here and yeah, destroy like, me he just so. has feelings that he'd catch the next flight to Palmerston to north new zealand and beat the piss out uh, of uh, uh, dunedin dunedin, dunedin. dunedin. <clears throat> in, in Aus- austria yeah um, this week we're not doing the 13s, we're running low on ideas. Well, we're not, we're, we're just, we're running low on motivation. Well, yeah, that's... <laughs> <laughs> we've got we're ideas. We're on fumes right now. <laughs> we just haven't put them into we need our We need our Jamie, our uh, Joe Rogan podcast, to do all of the bullshit behind the scenes for us. Yeah, um, just some scrub. Some little noob. Right, we're going to start with the top three. Top three players of this week. From the round we reckon then we'll go into the games individually you want to go um, one for one yeah i'll go with my my top man hit me no bias oh here we go big cotter oh ruby big rubes ruby 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 do, 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 do. um he was a freak he got i think he got none or maybe one deli end point even though he is probably the best player on the pitch personally arguable I mean, the, the whole Cowboys outfit is yeah. pretty goddamn solid. But the dude, like, I mean, he was fucking, well, he's listed as prop, played lock, but he, he had running meters. I don't think he missed a tackle out of, like, 50-something tackles, ball playing, just a good cunt, just <laughs> even, yeah. Big Ruby Cots for me. Headed into this season, he is probably one of the most underrated um, yeah, but guys he, on any He's only underrated because he breaks a fucking arm leg. What yeah, but every single minute he steps on the field. That's what I was getting at, though. Because of those injuries, I think, or maybe understated. People, I just don't the, think they realised that he was a player because he was just dead the whole time. Yeah. Now he's, that he's actually strung a few weeks together, people are like, oh shit, this guy's Understated a might be a better mm. statement. Like, people just weren't talking about him pre season, um, and he's been on fire. He hasn't had a bad game. Yeah, no, he's, he's a gun. Who are you going for top? Well, seeing as we're going Cowboys then. I'm gonna, I know who you're going to say. Yep. I bet you. You're going to say drinky. Yep. Yep. Big drinks. Yeah. I was going to put him in, but I, I don't probably, want to have two probably would have been saying, probably upping him during the game. Yeah. Um, you always I'm, fucking harp on about him. Well, this season, yeah, because he's been <laughs> on fire. I mean, this is like, this is true redemption story stuff for drinky. It's making it fucking tough for Todd Payton to pick his team. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know someone's in good form when um, Payton's willing to put the young gun yeah. hammer on the bench and then back-to-back weeks. Yeah, yeah. So even after, like, you know, I'll give him a little run back from injury, but now nah, he's keeping him there just full-time now, so... Yeah, I mean, so... Kind of fucked up, too. I don't know if you noticed, but Drinky is top 10 in Dally M points, and he's only played, like, half the amount of games as everybody that's why you which can't, is insane that's why you can't get rid of him yeah um yeah i mean it's, it's a massive redemption story for him and the few opportunities he had last season um he performed pretty badly in, in quite a few games he, at, he started crazily good yeah he did and he, he just did. shit the beer day eh? but i mean the difference is when you when you're playing um with a confident pack or a confident team yeah to be honest um you know the, the forwards are going good for you blokes um the the halves are going decent and so that that allows him to <laughs> one half's going decent the other <laughs> one's a god scene thank you strawberry blonde jesus i think chad hasn't been too bad um it, it allows obviously for any fullback it allows any fullback a bit of freedom yeah. so they don't I, have I think to it's good to stress out as much well chad does suck dick and a lot of dicks um, cut, he, that, cut that cut that cut that <laughs> He um he takes a lot of pressure off the young fellas. Exactly. And when town uh, not town when um Drinkwater comes into it, he's a second or third option, so he's got way more time to kick, pass, 
go through the line whatever he wants he, to do. He's really he's showing off all of those skills this yeah. season. He's and, he, and he's picking the right time to run, the right time to pass, and his um, little short kicking game grub isn't that it? Yeah, which he, that's always been a pretty good part of his game. Um, following the the Cowboys fucking jerk circle here, we've got <laughs> Benny Hunt. Oh who, yeah, who yeah, got a bad shot. I would put as a definite fourteen for Queensland. Yeah, got to be. If not taking DCE's spot, if you have to have a different player on the bench, because I that, wouldn't complain either way. Even though I've got a, a massive, massive little raging boner for the Dragons, if Ben Hunt wasn't playing for them, that'd be probably about fourteenth. <laughs> well, they might already still be fourteenth, but that'd be a lot worse off if Ben Hunt wasn't playing for them. <laughs> they'd be um, still ahead of the Knights. They'd be ahead of the Knights. <laughs> yes. uh, uh, but yeah, Benny Hunt has to be in there. Yeah, he's been super solid. Uh, I actually elected to leave him out. Wow. Hates um, the Dragons, eh? Uh, well, I'm not crazy about them. <laughs> <laughs> it was only the Tigers after all. Let's not. Oh, here's you saying Tigers are going to win. Yeah, That's, I did. Now think, it's, oh, it was just the Tigers. I did think the Tigers were yeah, going to win. Fuck you. They're Who's two your... shit teams that are going nowhere. Fuck you. Anyway, speaking of Ben Hunt, a former teammate of his, maybe, um, is my next pick. Oh, uh, you and Aitken. For the, oh, yeah. for the Warriors. Uh, yeah, must well, have played together with the Dragons for a year or there so. at the same time, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Sure. I can't remember. It works. Um, I mean, it, he's probably he's close to the most consistent Warrior this year. Yeah. Um, on attack and defence. Um, and and, and he, he does excel at both, I think. Um, won me a decent amount of money, so I love him. <laughs> Next yeah. try scorer. Only try scorer of the second half? That, yeah, yeah, it Thank was you. an important try. $29. That he scored. Thank you. And, um, and even just... Has he has he been confirmed where he's going next season? No, nah, well, Australia. Yeah. <laughs> Anywhere yeah. the fuck so away from the Warriors. I think he's going to... Um, you know, if he went to like a, a pretty a, decent prize, he'd be a great Melbourne Storm type of acquisition. Eh? Uh, yeah. he's, he, he'd be after more money. I think, yeah, he would be, but he'd be the sort of dude that'd go there and just be a fucking freak. Yeah, I could. Not s- that he's not already, but I could see like a um, a Tigers maybe trying oh. to look to shell out for him. Does he want a payday and finish his career though? Because that's what will happen if you go there. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't know. He's in that sort of category where he might be able to attract some decent money going to a shit yeah. team. Um, yeah, although the Tigers right. have shelled out on Papa Lee, so maybe not Tigers, but... I mean, um, I'm actually quite surprised. Like, I know he's been really good since going to the back row, but, like, just everything that he does, like, he's super solid on defense. Like, he gets a lot of running meters, yeah. too. Yeah. Normally, was, normally those smaller back rowers, the, like, yeah, they can hurt a hole, but normally they don't get heaps of meters. That was one of the zone. notes I made is that he always goes forward. Yeah. Um, and it, just his versatility, you know. Yeah. You can play back row or center, which is always handy. Yeah, he's a, he's a horrible loss for the Warriors. Maybe a scrub team like the Knights might um, replace Barnett with a guy like him. Oh, yeah. Trade him. Possibly. Trade Barnett to the Warriors. Um, well, weirdly, but that's already confirmed, is he not? But they could still swap, you know. Hmm. Um, weirdly, I've gone for a teammate of you and Aitkins, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and I don't know if you'll be able to guess who I've gone for. Weird, we both got Warriors. Yeah. No, you don't like any Warriors. Exactly, and I don't like him, and I said it during the game. But Dejanasi had a fucking oh, blinder. The mustard man himself. The mustard. <laughs> <laughs> One of the worst Brutal. commentary calls I've heard. Brutal commentary. Dejan Mustard. Um, yeah, I've gone for him to be in my top three. Wow, but probably not deserving for a top audacious. three of the week. I just really... I thought he had a fucking mean game. Did have a good game. Um, yeah. Kicking... or well, Other than that one horrible kick. Kicking, passing, attacking the line. Defensively, he was actually good. Defense the reason I hated him at the Cowboys is because he was like a fucking sieve. But he actually... He put on that one mean hit that... Someone knocked it on and oh, he did it, too. It was just yeah, real yeah. solid and changed the changed momentum. And I mean, I don't hate Harris Tavita, but he could definitely ask. He could hold that position down and possibly grow next to Johnson. So yeah, I think he had a mean game. Go, go slightly off topic. What are the Warriors doing with their halves? They've, they've well, gone, they're retiring one. They've gone crazy. Yeah, so Ash Taylor's retired. Um, They've got Harris Tavita, whose his career has been really interrupted by through being dropped or injury, or breaking his shoulders. You get rid of um, is another it? Dickhead, I, I know I asked you already, but I was listening to a pod today, and they seem to think that the RC thing was alone. No, nah, we've released him. 
suppose well from what i've seen he's been released yeah. completely so whether he's just there at the warriors for the remainder of the year don't know um if he keeps playing like that he, he'd hope he gets picked up um but, so yeah, harris tavita is good um and they've got so they've got Ema should just fuck off he's gone he's uh that, that's confirmed rabbitos yeah, yeah. oh no it's okay well then that's all right then but they the warriors have recruited um mm. metcalf who Metcalf has to start next year. Is meant to be a freak, and they've also now recruited um, Volkman. From yeah, but he's the Roosters. he's still super young and unproven, so I think he should be like a not train and try. What's the other one? Just one of the rookie sort of deals. But if they've signed him, they must have the intent of. Yeah, you can have like I think it's three rookies in your squad that can play but X amount. I guess of games what I'm getting at though is how young is he? Is, is he the type of kid though that's going to be like, hey... He could be like, I think he's like a Suwali. He could come in and just perform right off the bit, but you don't necessarily want to rush him in either. Mm, but especially if you've got Metcalf. You, you, you also don't options. want to not play him though if he's set on playing. Yeah. No, 100%. On a stunt. So it's going to be really interesting just to see what the, what I, the I Warriors do with their... Metcalf um, has to start. He mm. has to. Cause yeah, he's, yeah, I think. And when he is in 20s, oh, how many, many years ago, he has a beast. Even the few chances he's already had with the yeah, Sharks. He's, he's a gun and he's got more experience and he's been in the systems and stuff. So he's he's definitely ahead of the others, I'd say. Um, but if Arcee keeps playing like this, whether he takes Sean's spot or what, or if Sean's even going to stick That's around, I don't know. It'd be interesting to see how long Johnson does keep going. I'd say he's still going. And I'm, I'm not a Johnson hater, but he's been fucking average this year, in my opinion. Oh, I he, he's had a few games where he's on, but he's had a few games where he's fucking horrible too. I don't think so. I disagree with that. I don't. I, I think when and the, I don't think he has horrible games really. Well, not not he's horrible not where he's where like he's, you know where you're gonna drop him, but he's not been like get, standout. He gets a bit too quiet or, in some in some games because he is a passing kick first. Even those games where like you know he, he hits the field goal or whatever, like yeah, he's, he might have got the win, but fuck, he's he's been tough throughout it to watch. I, I think that's what he brings to the table though is ca- like a calmness and a coolness and a and, a, and leadership qualities Come i think on. he's kind of the chad townsend of the warriors yeah but better um yeah, i feel like yeah. he's invaluable to the warriors i think if they lose him they they lose their way a bit yeah but still in saying that he has had a few average performances I for sure nothing too crazy um, who was your third um my third was just another guy that needed to prove himself katoni stags oh yeah broncos I, I missed that game so that's probably yeah yeah we, we should have prefaced with that the fact that we didn't actually watch every game i watched majority I think and i only missed that in the rabbitos game also didn't yeah i missed that too i also didn't bother with storm because fucking everyone i, was I literally had honorable mention the entire storm team just yeah because, it's like what's know, the point i mean the knights are horrible throw a dart at their team list and they're too <laughs> um, but yeah, Stags was under fire early from critics. Uh, even we were on yeah. him about how bad he'd been. Oh, against the Cowboys, God, he is horrible. Yeah, he had, and I mean, he was bad in every facet, like handling errors, misreads on defense, like yeah, nothing was clicking for him. Weirdly, like the commentators weren't going at him for the well, mistakes and errors. Yeah, though they got so, they going got at him for not getting him. My level of dragons boner. Every commentator has for Contoni Stags. Yeah, exactly. Um, so basically, Herbie's I mean, still better. Just saying. Yeah, I agree. Um, he derailed the Talakai yeah hype train this week, which yeah. was big. Um, Talakai went from like the player especially <laughs> especially after how bad talakai destroyed poor old harper <laughs> the seagulls literally got Hello, him harper. literally got him dropped yeah i mean um, he, he was on the cusp before that yeah <laughs> oh yeah he's been dogged talakai was just like hey we're gonna go ahead and confirm you going to reserve grade the latter half of last season harper i have no idea yeah. how the fuck he kept holding his spot down yeah. in the first three weeks of this year christ he was bad yeah. but yeah now nah, um, so yeah finally hidden stride fair play to him for um, showing him up and sort of showing his worth. Yeah, all right. Um, do you want to go into trivia now and then we'll jump back into kind of talking about this week's um, head to heads? Yeah, and we, can, and stuff. we can for sure go into trivia as soon as I drop some soul into my belly. Well, you need one, yeah. <laughs> not, not ginger, but. Not ginger, but a proper cunt. Yeah. Um, right. Strawberry ginger cunt. Trivia round. 
All right, now, I think your one's... You had, your last trivia was pretty good, but I remember week one, I kind of smashed it immediately. Yeah, no, nah, even the second one was pretty bad. I well, just you, I got it, and then you fucked me up, yeah. yeah. You, you didn't big, get it? You, big, you, you, well, Big Ben Hornby, I, I was there. I Eddie Maguire'd you. Yeah. Yeah. Are you sure? And I was like, well, actually, I'll try five other people <laughs> first, and then I'll go back to who I thought. And tell I watch my millionaire, and I was just <laughs> like, uh, well, he hasn't committed to it, so I'll just keep leading him down this path. All right, so what we got? <clears throat> right. Two modern era players have scored the most point... Uh, sorry, uh, in the top five for most points scored in a match. Oh, in a single match? Yeah, in a single match. One of them is Mal Meninga. Um, he scored 38 against the Roosters in mm. 1990. I want you to tell me who the other is. The other, and it's a current player? It's a current... Uh, no, not a current player, but... The like modern era. Modern so era. Could be All 80s. the rest were, like, way back in So the, it could be 80s, 90s? Nah, like, 2000s on. Oh, okay. I included Mel, because he was the next closest in 1990. Right. Um, the rest were all donkeys years old. So, here we go. I'll give you some clues. So, it's most points, single game. In a single game. Anything right off the bat? Well, I'd be looking at Cameron Smith straight away. Okay. Not not correct, but they would have played together. Oh, like, against each other. <clears throat> so, same era. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, it's a storm play. So, this, this player was a half. Yeah. His point scored was 36 points, and he did it in 2008 against the Panthers. Mm. In that game, the Panthers got destroyed. It was like 72-10 or something. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking Darren Lockyer, but I'm not going to lock him. <laughs> I'm not going to lock him uh, in. Ah, I see what he did there. Can, can Finish you... that solve. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so he's a half, but he's like, can you specify, is he only a half or has he played other positions only a half as far as i'm aware or at least definitely the majority as, right. as a half um 72 10 it was i think it was uh ah uh, no 74 12 74 12 oh, same diff 74 12 in 2008 <laughs> yep 2008 against the panthers against the panthers We've got a few more clues if you want them, unless you think you... Um, well, I'm just trying to think of good teams from 2008, which obviously Storm, but Smith would have been doing the kicking. I don't know why, but I weirdly thought Scotty Prince might have been a shout, but... Nah. Bunnies. Any... Ooh. Any conversion-taking wingers. It's not going to be Bryson Goodwin. Remember the first clue. What was the first clue? <laughs> <laughs> you just went way off track. Oh, yeah. The first clue was that he's a half. Oh, yeah. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately started thinking, like, who can get a lot of tries? Well, if you, if you want to know, there's another little clue. He scored four tries in what this game. What the fuck? Four tries. Yeah. And he has to take conversions, obviously. Um, hmm. Against the Panthers, I don't know. Bulldogs normally kill them. Jeez, this is a tough one. Next clue. Uh, <clears throat> the this player wasn't the first choice kicker when the season started, but <laughs> a controversial. Star was cut from the club before the season finished. Fuck. I'm trying to think of who was like Ben Barth. So it could be on the right path. It's what? not Trent Hodkinson, is it? Nah. No, not Trent. I think Ben Barber might have been cut. I don't know when that cunt was a, a thing. Oh, that's where you're going. I was like, where are you going with Well, this? Ben Barber cut and then... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't think Hod Hodko... Oh, he did kick, didn't he? Hodko kicked, but Barber didn't fucking Not do any kicking. That I recall, I don't think Hot. Nah, he did. Did he? Yeah. Um. Well, I'd like to know who the star was. Obviously, he's the kicker. You know, you know for sure. For sure. Hmm. Uh, what else can I give you? I can give you. 
Don't know what what your two thousand and eight season knowledge is like. Probably. I know the eels were. I'm pretty sure the eels were wooden spooners. Probably horrible. Well, this team was forecast to get the wooden spoon and ended up finishing sixth. Mm. Knocked out by the sharks. Who won? Was the eagles win? I wait. Uh, this was the season where so the sharks, uh, the team who. The team that lost to the Sharks expected they would get another crack, but because one team oh Melbourne was another team, they never got the match. Oh, that's fucking <clears throat> destroying me. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna outright say that, but then I was like, mm, kind of eliminate the two more teams. <laughs> It'll be obvious afterwards. It'll be very obvious. Um, he played 139 games for the, this club, played one game for Australia and one game for New South Wales. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, Jeez. Half that scores a lot of points, played one game each. Not DCE because he's played more. I'm trying to think of a team that would, like, fucking destroy the Panthers. 74-12? I feel like it's mm. the Rabbit now. <clears throat> I was suspected to be bottom. When you see the lineups too, like, especially when you see the lineup of this team, you'll see why they were expected to get the spoon. Yeah. Well, like, no, it won't be Warriors. I've got two... I wonder what their biggest one would have been. I've got two more clues and they could, they should, yeah, they will be giveaway clues, I think. Because I think the, I'm getting my years mixed up, but I feel like the Bulldogs were a horrible team that year. But who was suspected to be horrible and then weren't? They were legitimately forecast to be the Spooners. Well, it won't be Raiders... The Knights definitely could have been. I think the Eels were horrible. I don't know. I'm getting my Eels horrible years mixed up. I feel like that was the year that they were dog shit. Um, I can't... Not I Roosters. Can't, no. can't actually look into... It's not the Bunnies. Who were the Bunnies halves? Played 139 games. It wouldn't be that little Sandow idiot, would it? Nope. Nope, not Sandow. Because Isaac, oh no, Isaac Luke would have been the kicker. I was wondering if he got dropped. Also, the star who got dropped. Fuck. Jared Hayne? He wasn't a kicker, though. Very, it's a very obvious one. One of the more high profile. More high profile. Oh, fuck. But, but a kicker? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Not Piercy. No, because you said he was a fullback, didn't you? No. No. <coughs> when did Pierce get dropped? Um, not sure. But here, I'll give you... This man <coughs> was related to an Aussie Union legend. Oh, God. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't help Nah, fuck okay. I'm just I'm brain dead More so than usual Right, this is the, this is is the last one Yeah oh, what, what's it? What? No, no, no I've got nothing <clears throat> So There was a Clue in that um, His record actually directly Relates to Mal Meningas So Because of the club that He so played Raiders. for Oh! He gave away. Oh. Alright, I'm there. Terry Campisi? Correct. Yeah. Correct. Todd Carney, fucking hell. Yeah, Todd. Yep, yeah. yep, yep. Toddy boy. Oh, I literally said, in there, I was, when you said, um, it's supposed to be shit, and I was like, thinking like, I think I even said, it won't be Raiders. <laughs> you mentioned the Raiders at one point. Yeah, yeah. dipshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Did you know that he had that record, though? I, I knew that he had some point scoring record. I didn't know he scored four tries. I and, didn't remember. And I didn't know it was that much of a murdering. But Todd 
didn't play that game, eh? No. Yeah, okay. He must have been already gone by then. I remember. But he, he was the first he played a game for Aussie. Yeah. One for Aussie, one for New South. Nah, that, yeah, that completely done me. So that he um, would have equaled Mao's record, mm. but he gave the conversion away so that he wouldn't equal it. Oh, really? Yeah. Good kind. Uh, conversion right in front of the post. So respect being a Canberra. But fuck, that was me. I'd be like, fuck he, you, man. He, yeah. He, no, he, like, he was too young at the time. He, he considered himself too young. <laughs> and so he... Um, wow. He was actually the man, too. Like, if he was on a good team, he would have been a, a big-time player. Early on, he was good. Injury absolutely destroyed yeah. him. I remember, actually, because I only started fully, fully watching in, like, I think it was 07... Like every single game, like Cowboys, mm. Warriors, whoever. And I remember him and Carney were my two favourites from other clubs. Like they were fucking freakish. Like, just tra- running like, game, eh? it, like, Campisi was a freak when he started, but then by the end he was like a joke, which was sad because well, it wasn't yeah. really his fault. But he just, like, he, his thing was speed and like breaking the line and shit. He just didn't have it after yeah. however many years. So one game for Aussie in 2008, that same year. One for New South Wales a year after. See, that's kind of crazy though. Like, <clears throat> oh, I must have been against a fucking another shit, shit team. Because they, well, who are you going to pick him over who? JT and Cronk and Lockyer and. Nah. That's, that's what fucked me up. <laughs> Wait, what? Camp Easy. Hmm. Like, for him to play for Aussie, I was like, it must oh, have been right, against right, a right. real lower tier nation. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think it actually says, to be honest. No idea. Um, yeah, I wasn't too sure about the position thing. He did play lock a bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, he was quite a unit. Like, he was pretty big for a half. So he actually... He wasn't even... He didn't even start that season. Michael Dobson and Todd Ugh. Carney were the starting half. Who was... Do you have the team list there? Yeah, I do. Oh, wait, team list? Because who was the fullback? That would have been Dugan when he came in, wasn't it? Or no? Nah, it's too... Too early. Too early for Dukes? Yeah, so their team was horrible. David Milne was their fullback. Oh, man. Colin Best was one wing with Justin Carney on the other. Justin Carney was the dogs, eh? Uh, they were all horrible. Their centres were Pertell and Monaghan. Um, Monaghan always got reps, but I just never rated him. No. Nah. His, his halfback was Mark Herbert. That's the guy he gave the kick to. I can't even remember Mark him. Mark Herbert. Yeah, nah. I can't remember him at nah. all. Troy Thompson, uh, one of the props, don't oh, know him. He was the headgear guy, I think. Big, Big Tilsey was the other. <laughs> Dane oh, Tills. Two metre Tills. Glenn Buttress was the hooker. No, not even Tangy. Nah, Tangy was lock. <clears throat> Fuck. <laughs> um, <laughs> Joe Picker and Marshall Chalk, no idea. Joe Picker was horrible. Vaguely remember Picker. He was horrible. Don't know who Chalk was. They were their um, back rowers. And they came sixth. They came sixth. They, they, that team, man. that very starting lineup, beat the Panthers 74-12. That's, I'd love to see the Panthers team. Their, Holy. their bench was Thurling, Miller, Leroy Lars, and Costigan. <laughs> Leroy Lars and Big Nev. And that was Henry's last season as their coach, Neil Henry. What, so they canned him after he dragged that team to sixth? Yeah. That's fucked or up. Or he man. decided to leave or something. I don't know yeah, what that, the fucking story was. They must have was. taken his fucking soul from him. Jesus yeah. Christ. The Panthers must have been right near the bottom if they got fucked by that So team, right? they expected to get a second chance in the finals. But the, the Panthers? No, the Raiders. The Raiders but the, that's when the Warriors beat Storm. When Warriors were eight. Oh, oh so, the Michael Whip fucking... So they down, got yeah. screwed out. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, man. That, that's fucking insane. They're even there, though. So the Panthers have a guess fullback. Reese Weasel? Yeah. You would never get the wing in a million years. Well, one wing. So Michael what? would have been um, on the on one, eh? Gordon. Yeah, Michael Gordon. Yep. The other one was Jeff Daniela. Oh, that's rank. Yeah, he must have got... Uh, he got bought in for someone because he was in a random number. Oh, no, right. Centers, you get, get one. <clears throat> Jennings. Yep. And... Oof. Nah, don't know. Brad Ty. Ah, yeah. Horrible. Yep. Worst... Luke Walsh in the halves? Nah. Worst halves ever. They... Someone... Oh. I don't know who got ruled out. Someone of... Oh, he... he Maybe, but he might have got ruled out. So they moved Maurice Blair to the halves. What the fuck? Yeah. 
Yeah, real bad. If you're making that call, you have to fucking lose by that match. With... Don't know. Still playing now, but different position. Don't know. Oh, you know it. Back mm. row. Now. Uh, Luke Lewis is retired, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. Wade Graham. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, what? I mean, he's not really still playing. He's a fucking paper bag. Beast, um, beast props. Yeah, Petro. Yep. And... I don't think you'll get that one. Pulitoa. Ah, oh, no. Hooker? Uh... Goat. Prittus. Yep. <laughs> you say goat, it's just... <laughs> Back rows. Uh, you've got Faggot Waterhouse. Yep. Cut that, cut that. And... <laughs> the Tank. Don't know. Frank the Tank. Frank the Tank. Nathan Smith at lock. Don't really remember him. Mm, meh. And you got Matthew Bell, Junior Moores... Joseph Paulo and Masada Yosef are the worst interchange. But ever. That, that starting lineup shits on the Raiders team nine out of ten times. Well, there's no way they should have lost 74-12, but I'll tell you why they would have. I think they should have won, other than the half. I'll tell you why they would have. Why? The coach. Oh, you leave Elliot alone. Nah, he's horrible. The goat. He's the goat, not Prittis. He's the greatest of all time at being shit. Warriors legion. Right, we're gonna go get another soul, and then we'll be back to discuss. I have no soul. The <laughs> remaining round. Predictions, we'll tip some predictions for this week. We've got first game Broncos Bunnies. Yeah, tomorrow night. Yeah, what ten, do you reckon? 10 to 10. Uh, way too late. Yeah. Yeah, way, that's what I reckon. Way too late to watch. Way too late for me. Um, but way predictions, how do you think the game's going to go? I'm honestly, call me crazy, I'm leaning towards the Broncos. Yeah, I've tipped the Broncos too. Have you? Yeah. yeah. They yeah. are missing Payne Haas, which is the only reason I'd lean back. Change my mind, really. Yeah. <laughs> I'd lean back to the other side. I think they're missing somebody else notable as well. But they've just, I don't know, they're just weirdly working again at the moment. And they did fucking do them in round one. Mm, true, forgot um, about that. No, I, also, again. I still just, yeah, yeah, I, I just don't rate the rabbit. I mean, I like Blake Taff, 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 I don't know, yeah. I rate it's him, but potato. he's no Latrell. No. Nah. They're a different team with Latrell there. Yeah. Um, the, the Bunny, there's so many teams that are like up and down and just weird this year, and the Bunnies are definitely one of them. Yeah, um, I mean, yeah, and it's starting to get like that every year, really. Like, yeah. It's pretty damn I mean, if, I'm glad I'm not playing tipping because I'd be getting absolutely murdered. I'm actually weirdly doing pretty well. I just don't seem yeah. to win money off of it. Well, okay, good boy. <laughs> well, I don't tip on, <laughs> on the, the tricky ones. Bet on the tricky ones. But yeah, I think Bronx are going to edge them. I think it's going to be close again. Probably low scoring-ish again. I th I think the Broncos um, midfield is going to destroy the Rabbitohs. Yeah. Um, Tamari Martin's been good. Yeah, weirdly. Since he's been back. He's... Uh, also set to be offered a, possibly a two year contract extension. Really? Yeah. So that's yeah. Still kind of pissed that he didn't come back to us. That's a big um, big call this early on. Um, especially playing out of position like man. I think the yeah, yeah I think you're right the the Rabbitohs actually look like they're going to destroy them in the forwards like uh, yeah I think who's big it, time. It, especially Ma Cook, um, Cook V Walters. I mean, Cook wins it yeah. every day of the week. I don't mind how Walters has been playing this year, um, but Cook's just Cook, right? Kaloma Tungy's having a banger yeah, of a year. He's really well. good. He <laughs> all he needs to do is watch those penalties, and he's yeah. one of the top top prospects. He's like he's, him and Sua are like so but, similar. Yeah, hundred percent. Big strong bastards can yeah. tackle like hell, can run like hell, but yeah, have, they just get have a bad penalty in yeah. their game. Um, but when you look at that, Kaloma, Tangi, Arrow, and Murray. It's solid. <laughs> Compared it's... to Robati, Ricky, and Hetherington. Yeah. It's not even Murray's close. probably best forward in the comp right now. Yeah, yeah, probably is. You're right up there. Um, Broncos have Carrigan back, which is a big boost. Yeah, for them. he's a good young young forward. Um, I don't know. Like, Yeah, Bron I think Broncos edge them, but again, I wouldn't put money on this game. <laughs> Nah, I don't know what I'd... I'd probably be looking to play at some form of try-scorer. I'd be looking at the unders, personally. Yeah? Total points? Yeah. 
under 40, no, that's 44, 42, I don't know. That's hard. Um, next game doesn't get much better. It's the Bulldogs versus the Raiders. <laughs> it doesn't get much better. It's fucking way worse. <laughs> <laughs> way worse. You've got a team that's lost five on the trot versus a team that hasn't scored over 16 points all year. You couldn't fucking pay mm. me to watch this game. I, I mean... Just no way. This should be unders again just for the fact that the Dogs can't score points. But I also think that the Bulldogs are going to win this game. Hence why it's going to be low scoring again. Yeah, I think they'll win too. Especially with Frawley and Schneider being the the Raiders' halves. If Ricky Stewart thinks that's the solution to his woes. Oh no, he had to because Whiten's out. Whiten's out. But But that's still horrific. And you've still got Starling on the bench. Like, what the fuck are you doing with yourself? That's... That is fucking mental. He's man. honestly one of the how's, best hookers in the comp. And how's, he's just, oh, how's Sticky not flying? Yeah. It's just namesake. Like, he was a great player, but people, I That's don't know. That's insane. He should be gone. Well, was kind of, Starling was up there with the best hookers in the league. To be fair, Adam Elliott had a really good game. Yeah. But, like, put him in his natural position and see if he still has a really good game. Yeah, right? absolutely. And let Starling be Starling. Um, Croker back for the Raiders will do nothing for them. Oh, I mean, honestly, he's better than what they've had. Yeah. <laughs> but he, he's not going to help I mean, them. He's been a good stalwart of the game, but he's yeah. not going to fucking he, change. He could, he could be the most unlucky player in the comp, maybe even ever. In terms of injury or missing out on... Both. Yeah. Injury and to missing out on any sort of rep footy whatsoever. To a degree. Also, they've put Sebastian Chris on the bench, which is also ludicrous. Yeah. <laughs> Get to bed. Um, <laughs> Radio. I don't Radio. mind. Uh, like, yeah, he sucks. I don't mind the idea of having a, a bench back in case of injury. But yeah, that guy sucks. They finally dropped that savage dude from the wing too, who's got such big reps, and he's been like the the shits <laughs> every week he's played. Also, a great point that was brought up um, on another pod I was listening to was that uh, Chan's nickel clock said has been on the bench the last two weeks and not played a minute. Yeah. You know, Why? Your forwards Why? are just getting extra time. So that's going to be cr- that's yeah. going to be Chris now. Well, he's a big cunt. He can actually play back row. But will he? He probably won't. No, but like at least there's some. Why would you carry a guy on the bench it? and not fucking play him? Yeah, it's kind of any insane. minutes. That's nuts. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah, all it's doing is making the the props and the middle way more tight than that. Exactly. Um, word, word to the wise, skip that game. Right, Panthers yeah. 13 plus. Yes, agreed. <laughs> Move on. Uh, <laughs> watch the Eels last week. They're the shits. Panthers are better than the Cowboys, therefore they'll win by more. Doesn't always work that way, but probably will this time. Yeah. Um, their wingers, I'll, I'll say, I don't know if Toto's back, but I'll say Taylor May for a double minimum. Yeah, but be careful because To'o is on an extended bench, which means he's probably playing. Yeah, but it's, he'll be in for shit stains, wouldn't he? Mm, yeah, yeah, don't know. imagine so. Don't, don't know. know. Should be, but possibly not. Yeah, he'll suck. Moving on. Okay, I'm going now I'm going Tigers over Eagles. Okay, you've lost it. After you, um, what, ridiculing me the entire week saying they're going to beat the Dragons? Yeah, because different teams. Different teams, Cobber, and... Um, yeah. Tommy Turbs is back. Ah, okay. I'm going to go the Eagles. <laughs> 13 plus. Well, in saying that, their, their wingers then Tui Pilotu and Young Turbs is in centre, which is odd. No, nah, I don't mind it. Okay, okay. I, I completely missed that game. Well, yeah, I'm kind of fucking pissed at the Tigers. I've gone Bulldogs have fucked me out of like 1500. Now the Tigers have fucked me out of my last big multi. Um, I thought they were going to lose by 1300% to the Dragons and... Didn't happen, so I guess with Turbs back, it'll be this week. Yeah, and Schuster as well. Schuster's back too. Yep. Okay, yep. I'm definitely so, changing that uh, to the Seagulls. Seagulls 13 plus. Yes, sir. Walker's also back for the Seagulls. Meh. Uh, Peachy back for the Tigers. Oh, that's going to make them worse. Did we- you see how Jacob Little got dropped again? Yeah. Because he was the shits again. They can't decide on a fucking hooker. Bro, Little was so good until injuries like the last few years, and this year he's just dog shit. I feel like Simpkins, Simpkin is not bad either, he's but just, he, they he's, just keep chopping just and changing, so that, yeah. basically just stunting the development of both of them, so really <laughs> achieving nothing in the long nah, run. Little's stunting his own growth. Uh, this is a weird game, Roosters Titans. Yeah, now I don't feel good about backing the Roosters, but I have to because of the Titans are the Titans. Thoughts? Yeah, fair. I, I'm starting to feel like the Titans are due. But, yeah, but the Roosters are due. 
<sighs> yeah, but the Roosters have been due all season. Yeah. To be fair, they just haven't. But I mean, on paper, Roosters. On paper. I mean, on paper, every week it's the Roosters. They just suck. Yeah. <laughs> they just, they're the weirdest team of the season, I think. That's very... I think this this game could be a points fest. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. I, think I think it's going to be a... Well, Roosters haven't been scoring, but they are definitely due. I think they're going to maul them in the first, and the Titans will do the classic, we're going to get 20 points in 10 minutes now. Yeah. And then they'll shit their pants again after that. That's very possible. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, overs. Overs and probably think, Roosters. Yeah, should, that should be an entertaining enough game to watch. It. Yeah. Now, this... <laughs> This is the most entertaining game, because the Knights, if they don't reach 14 points, will have the worst six game, six game, five game stretch in their history oh, really? of scoring. Yeah, wow, and they're playing that. the second best defense, who give up less than 11 points a game this year. I wouldn't say it's the most interesting game to watch, though. I think it's going to no. be a blowout for it, me. It's a Cowboys blowout for me. I'm still hesitant because I'm being a Cowboys fan. I'm used to disappointment, so I don't want to say it's going to be a blowout, and then we. Lose by three. The Knights' heads are down, and they're playing Hoy and Crossland starting halves. No, that's what's got me better. That's their real yeah. downfall. That's even worse than the Raiders' halves, which that's, is pretty hard to do. That's horrendous. Uh, Phoenix Crossland shouldn't even be on any sort of field. Is Hoy even a, a half? He I is mean, a half. He, he just fills in at fullback. Most because, of the time. Yeah, but it's because Pong is always dead. So somebody needs to fill his boots, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm looking for hopefully drinky kills again. I really want big strawberry Jesus, Tom Dearden, to get a hat trick. Um, <laughs> Who's Leo Thompson, by the way, for the Knights? Leo Thompson? No idea. What? Is he a big... Oh, a lot. No, no never clue. Never heard of him. Uh, Why is Brody Jones not playing in the starting? Yeah, because just he's been going too good since what Old Mate got fuck? injured, so just drop him. Okay. Um, I'm looking forward... The only thing I'm looking forward to about the Knights is seeing how Jack Johns goes. <laughs> yeah, which is fucking sad. Um, oh no, Big <laughs> Matty Croaks is on there. The nice. Man. Jack big, Johns is the man. Big Matt Croker. He is the goat. Reason, uh. reason behind this podcast thing. <laughs> um, Storm, Dragons. Yeah, another murdering. Yeah, get on your, sorry Storm. Get on your 13 pluses. Sorry guys. Storm, Dragons are in town. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I mean... It's a, what, it's have the storm, what have the Storm scored in their last two? It's going to be... 70 an... and 50 or something? Yeah. yeah. But yeah, they played the Knights and the Warriors, but... It, it's going to be the a win. The Dragons way. fit into that same category. The Dragons' defence last week, I know it was against the Tigers, was pretty solid. Um, I, obviously, the Storm is still going to score points, but I don't think it's going to be... <laughs> I don't think it's going to be more than 30. Yeah, it's going it's, to be. It's going to be like a, a 10 to 20 point win. No. It's going to be like 40... It's no, no. Yeah, hundred no. percent. Just about every storm player will score. <laughs> now moving on to the actual <laughs> game of the round. Um, now this is what you just said. I'm doing this, but for sharks. Every, every shark w- scores. Yeah, I feel like this is going to be a big bounce back for Shark, the sharks. Sharks are a bogey team of the Warriors. I know every team is. I don't think it's going to be that a, much. Of a they're bogey. a massive bogey team for them. And the uh, Jew after last week. I'll tell you what though, Talakai and Mulatalo actually fucking yeah. that. All of them, Katar and Ramian, are gonna give yeah. those backs fucking nightmares. Oh man. yeah. And I think Hines is gonna. Hines is gonna orchestrate the fuck out of it. If you're a fantasy player, and I'm not because fuck that, um, Hines is gonna pop right off. Yeah, fantasy's fucking annoying. Um, so. If I was to actually bet, I'd be going Sharks by a lot, Cowboys by a lot, Roosters, Titans, Overs, and if you had to add another one, probably Unders on the Dogs, Raiders. Yeah, I don't know. That's that's a scary one. I just don't like that because both teams are fucking horrible and they could yeah. they could just come out of the woodwork and do whatever the fuck. But Bulldogs but, could still only get sixteen, but then the fucking Raiders could end up getting thirty or something yeah. stupid. Because the Raiders are weird like that. They suck, but then they get points <laughs> in bunches, kind of. Yeah. But yeah, those first three options. That that's my my treble. I reckon. Right, another pod done and dusted yeah. in the bag. See you in a month. Time for a piss. <laughs> <laughs>